Jaswant Singh Khalara is a symbol in Punjab who shows that how people who are working to protect the human rights of the people, how individuals who champion these causes are victims of state terrorism. What Jaswant Singh Khalara did was he did an investigative reporting with, a, with another individual named Jaspal Singh Tilla and they showed that how 25,000 Sikhs have been eliminated, illegally cremated. In, a, in one of the districts of Punjab. Because he did that, he was openly challenged by the SSP of this district, Ajit Singh Sandhu, who said, uh, and I, it's, I'm paraphrasing it, but he basically said that if we can make 25,000 people disappear, we can easily make it 25,001. In January 1995, Jaswant Singh Khalara released official records claiming they proved that security forces in Punjab had been secretly cremating thousands of bodies as unidentified. He further alleged that these secret cremations were of people disappeared by security forces for their purported involvement in the separatist movement from 1984 to 1994 in Punjab. Khalda's documentary evidence consisted of entries in firewood purchase registers from three crematoria in Amritsar district when police officials deposited bodies and purchased 300 kilograms of wood required to burn just a single body. इस कहानी नो जदों असी शुरू कीता तब पहला तो असी इस गलते अंकड़े कठे कीते के किन्हें पुत्र किन्हें प्राह किन्हें पति ते किन्हें बच्चे लापता ने पर जदों असी इस विषय ते गल शुरू कीती ताने का मामा अने का पैना ये गल कहन ले तैयार नहीं सी और कहीं दिया सी पुत्र जे गाल तुसा गां कर देती साडा पुत जिंदा है जे ओ मार देनगे तुसी गाल ना करे ओ सी तानो भी नहीं दसना ता असी एक रफ जे एस्टीमेट दुनिया दे सामने रखया के कल्ले अमरसर जिले च 2000 बच्चे लाबता है सरकार सानू दसे के ओ किथे ने सरकार चुप सी in a speech made to a Canadian audience, Jaswant Singh Khalo discusses his investigations into the disappearances and his readiness to die to expose the truth about these crimes. Over 11 years ago, on September 6, 1995, Indian security forces abducted human rights defender Jaswant Singh Kalara because of his work exposing the disappearances and killings of thousands of Sikhs in Punjab. You know, one of the questions which arises is, why is state doing this? What you see is a range of issues, and eventually, in 1984, there was a violent conflict between the state of India and certain Sikh factions who championed the human rights causes, who championed the religious causes, who championed the 
economic causes on behalf of the six. And out of that violent movement, uh, one of the policies government adopted was several selective genocides or massacres of genocidal proportions. And this, this elimination of 25,000 uh, six, what Jason Sinkara is try, was showing through evidence he collected, was the series of genocidal uh, massacres which the state of India inferred on the six in Punjab, in New Delhi, as well as in several other cities in India. After the Punjab police abducted cholera, the Committee for Information and Initiative in Punjab filed a petition in the Supreme Court demanding a comprehensive inquiry into cholera's allegations. This petition initiated the Punjab mass cremations case. In January, when Jaswant Singh Cholera released his official records, he and Jaspal Singh Dhanlo filed a writ petition in the Punjab and Haryana High Court to impel it to investigate their discovery of mass illegal cremations. The High Court dismissed the petition on grounds of vagueness, and they moved the Supreme Court. Before the Supreme Court could hear the matter, the Punjab police abducted cholera. The Committee for Information and Initiative in Punjab moved the Supreme Court to demand a comprehensive inquiry into the mass cremations. The Supreme Court ordered the Central Borough of Investigation to investigate these crimes. In December of 1996, the Supreme Court referred the matter of police abductions leading to disappearances and secret cremations in Punjab to the National Human Rights Commission as reference case number one of 1997, observing that the Central Borough of Investigations report disclosed flagrant violations of human rights on a mass scale. The December 1996 report by the CBI showed 2,097 illegal cremations at three cremation grounds of Amritsar District. Of these, the CBI identified 585 partially identified 274 and failed to identify 1,238 bodies. This report was kept under seal. The Prao Jadon Sanue Sari Hakikat Mili Ta Asi Os Desi Ocha Dal Tachagay ਅਸੀਂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਤੇ ਹਰਿਆਣਾ ਹਾਈ ਕੋਰਟ ਦਾ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ਾ ਖੜਕਾਇਆ ਕਿ ਜਰਵਾਣਿਓ ਘੱਟੋ ਘੱਟ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਡਿਟੇਲ ਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਦਿਓ ਕਿ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਲਾਸ਼ ਕਿਹਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਰੇਕ ਮਾਂ ਭੈਣ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਸਕੀਏ ਹਰੇਕ ਬਾਪ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਸਕੀਏ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਿਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਧਾਰੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਹੈ वो सतगुरु पास कर सके के सतगुरु मेरे पुत नु अपने चरण आज निवास बख्शिए अपने पर ओ देश जो सब तो बड़ी जमहूरियत ते न्याय पसंद कहौंदा है उस दे हाई कोर्ट ने सानू किया के इंज करो ए पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट लिटिगेशन ता बनदी नहीं ए दे नाल बहुत बड़ा मसला खड़ा हुंदा है ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹਰੇਕ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਦੀ ਲਾਸ਼ ਹੈ ਭੇਜ ਦਿਓ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦੇਾਂਗੇ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਨਾਲ ਮਖੌਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਕੌਮ ਨਾਲ ਮਖੌਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਮਖੌਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੋਰ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੰਗਦੇ ਸਿਰਫ ਡੈਥ ਸਰਟੀਫਿਕੇਟ ਹੀ ਮੰਗਦੇ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਬੈਟਰ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਇੱਜ਼ਤ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਪਾ ਹੁਣ ਦੇ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇ ਸਕਦਾ ਫਾਦਰ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਲੋ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਦਾ ਮਾਣ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸੀ ਜਸਵੰਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਖਾਲੜੇ ਦੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੌਮਲੀ ਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਕੀਤਾ On October 24th 1995 48 days after the abduction Kikar Singh who was in detention in connection with another case saw Mr. Khalida in detention at the Kang police station. He observed injuries on Mr. Khalida's body and helped him eat his food before Mr. Khalida was taken away. 
For the next four days, Mr. Collar was kept in a specially guarded room at Chabo Police Station and regularly tortured under the orders of senior police officers. In late October 1995, the police shot Mr. Collar while interrogating him and dumped his body into a canal. What Jisvansen Kala learned cost him his life. His killers have been identified, but have not been prosecuted. Impunity reigns over the Punjab to the point that the former Punjab police chief KPS Gill has had the temerity to publicly demand that laws be passed to grant immunity of police officers for their crimes in recognition of their service to the state. ਫਿਊਚਰ ਚ ਚਾਹੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੜ ਵੀ ਲਈਏ ਬਟ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਚੱਲਣਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੇ ਇਸੇ ਫੀਲਡ ਚ ਹੀ ਕੰਮ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੇ ਜੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਪਾ ਨੇ ਕੰਮ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਹੀ ਅੱਗੇ ਫਰਦਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੀਡ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁਣ ਡਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੁਣ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਲੋਕ ਕਾਫੀ ਲੋਕ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਤੋਂ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਵੀ ਅੱਗੇ ਵੀ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਰਹੇਗੀ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਡਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਲੱਗਦਾ Jasvant Singh Khalara's commitment and dedication to human rights was undoubtedly prevalent. Despite numerous death threats, Mr. Khalara refused to give in and in result was unjustly murdered. The tragedy of his death is overshadowed by his compassionate persona as a martyr who sacrificed his life for the advancement of human rights. His valiant efforts have triumphantly reverberated betwixt the Sikh nation. Par maan da dil aisa hunda hai ਕਿ ਉਹ ਪੁੱਤ ਦੀ ਲਾਸ਼ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਯਕੀਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੀ ਕਿ ਉਹਦਾ ਪੁੱਤ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਮਾਵਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਾਇਆਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਲਾਸ਼ਾਂ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਦੇਖੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੇ ਸਵਾਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਇੰਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਪਤਾ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਕਿ ਸਾਡਾ ਪੁੱਤ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੇ ਬੁਲਾ